Hey, every time we go camping, we've got to hook and unhook this propane cylinder, and today I've got a solution. Stay tuned. <laughs> so like I said, every time we go camping, I've got to drag this propane cylinder around. Usually that means inside the camper if we don't have another vehicle with us. And so whenever we get to our campsite, I've got to get under here, and I've got to hook this, uh, this propane line up to the bus. And one of my fears is, say we had to get in the bus and leave, um, maybe in an emergency or something, and I forget to unhook this thing, and what's going to happen is we're not going to get too far down the road with it, but more than likely we're going to run the hose over and it's going to rip the hose right out of this tank. So I thought, well, how can we mount this propane tank to the bus? I see all sorts of uh, RV travel trailers and other campers that have propane cylinders attached to them, and I thought, I can come up with a set of, of clamps, a, a set of brackets to hold this thing on the bus, and I, I found a set on Amazon, and we're going to uh, mount those right to the frame. That way this 20 pound bottle propane cylinder can be right underneath of the bus. So the kit that I bought actually comes with two of these mounts. You can get it with one mount, it's a little bit cheaper. But this kit was like right around $44, $43. And I got it off Amazon. I will put the link in the description below. Um, but like I said, I got the kit that had two of them in it. And this is exactly what I wanted. So. It's, it's its own hinged bracket and it clamps the bottle and then it's got a clip. So there's no unbolting. You don't have to uh, have a wrench to be able to take this out. You know, say you're at Walmart and you need to get this thing changed or wherever you're at and you don't have any tools with you, you just unclamp it. Let's get underneath this bus and get this thing bolted to the frame. So right here is where I've chosen to put this tank. Um, this is a, a pretty good spot. I'm just on the other side here is the fuel tank. And this is the stairwell, so I think this would be a great spot right in between the two. The propane tank won't hang down any lower than the, the steps, so that's a good thing. And we're not right in front of the tire. First step we're going to do is we're going to put this tank up here just to make sure um, it does fit. And I think this would be an excellent spot for it. The valve even fits right up between the floor joists. I do plan on drilling a hole in one of these floor joists and bolting a chain to it and attaching that chain to the top of the tank here just for good measure. Um, you never know if if both of these um, clamps came undone, I sure wouldn't want that tank to just be bouncing down the road. That would be very dangerous. So I think that would give me a good peace of mind. I am glad that we went ahead and got the kit that had two clamps in it. Um, what these are are actually for a forklift. Um, for like a 30 pound or 35 pound bottle I think uh, but the, the diameter of that bottle is the same as a 20 pound gas grill bottle and that's what we're using here so I figured it'd work out perfect. Hey if you're interested in getting some clamps like this so you can bolt a tank to your schoolie or RV conversion or motorhome um, I'll leave a link in the description below. It is an Amazon affiliate link. It does help us out. It helps us make these videos and uh, Amazon does give us a small chunk and it does not raise the price for you. But again, we thank you for watching and uh, leave us a comment and, uh, or question below if you guys think this is just absolutely nuts or if you think it's a great idea. We'll see you guys on the next video.